Welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I am your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President Ilham Aliyev met with Prime Minister of Hungary, Viktor Orban. Prime Minister of Hungary Viktor Orban expresses gratitude to the head of state for the invitation to attend the Speka summit as a guest of honor. He conveyed the best wishes of the Hungarian people and his congratulations to President Ilham Aliyev on the occasion of the restoration of Azerbaijan's sovereignty and the stabilization of the situation in the region. President Ilham Aliyev expresses satisfaction with the comprehensive development of relations and friendly ties between Azerbaijan and Hungary, emphasized that our countries cooperate closely on a bilateral basis and within the framework of the Organization of Turkic States, and added that Speke created a new format for cooperation. Viktor Orban expresses gratitude for Azerbaijan's support in bringing Hungary closer to the Turkic family and developing relations with the Organization of Turkic States. The head of our state noted that Azerbaijan and the countries of Central Asia cover a single space from the political, economic, and geopolitical point of view. Economic integration between our countries is deepening further. New cooperation projects and platforms connecting Central Asia with the Caspian Sea and Black Sea are being developed in transport energy, including in renewable energy and other fields. The parties noted the importance of the groundbreaking ceremony of the Sultanli village of Jabral district of Azerbaijan, which was liberated from the occupation, was carried out jointly with Hungary, and it was emphasized that this project will be implemented with the participation of Hungarian companies. At the meeting, it was noted that the two countries cooperate successfully within the framework of international organizations. Satisfaction with the development of economic, commercial, and investment relations between Azerbaijan and Hungary was expressed. From this point of view, the importance of energy projects between the two countries was emphasized. Issues of cooperation in tourism, pharmaceuticals, transport, logistics, and other fields were discussed. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, received Executive Secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, Tatiana Molchan. Seeing that close relations have been established between Azerbaijan and the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe since the country became a member of the institution in 1993, the head of state noted that Azerbaijan enjoys successful cooperation with the Commission in environmental protection, transport, customs, energy, the implementation of sustainable development goals, and other areas. President Ilham Aliyev held the participation of delegations of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe in the international events organized under the chairmanship of Azerbaijan in the country. In this regard, the head of state described the participation of the executive secretaries of the UN Economic Commission for Europe and the UN Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific in the summit of the UN Special Program for the Economies of Central Asia in Baku as an example of the importance attached to cooperation within SPECA. The president of Azerbaijan recalled that the member countries were in the first stage of their independence in a different geopolitical and geographical environment when SPECA was established, stressing that the member countries had successfully developed as independent states during the past period. President al Hamaliyev described the holding of the SPECA summit in Baku as a clear example of the comprehensive and dynamic development of cooperation between Azerbaijan and the Central Asian countries and lauded the expansion of cooperation between Azerbaijan and the countries of the region and political economic transport and other areas of the past years. The head of state emphasized that the SPECA member countries present a successful regional model as a result of close cooperation. This is also a clear manifestation of Azerbaijan and the Central Asian countries expressing a single political, economic and geopolitical space, as well as an example of Azerbaijan's determination and intention to expand cooperation with the Central Asian countries even further. Thanking for the invitation, Tatiana Molchan praised Azerbaijan's successful chairmanship of SPECA and described holding the summit in this format for the first time as an important achievement. Noting that there are great prospects for a cooperation under Azerbaijan's SPECA chairmanship, Executive Secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, Tatiana Molchan, emphasized that the summit coincides with the 25th anniversary of the establishment of SPECA and in this regard stressed the importance of adopting a resolution concerning establishment of SPECA and the United Nations General Assembly. 
Tatiana Malchan said she is satisfied to represent the UN Secretary General at the SPECA summit. She underlined that this summit is of a great importance in terms of developing cooperation between SPECA member countries in areas of mutual interest and discussing priorities and challenges. Tatiana Malchan said she was pleased to participate as a co-chair in the discussions to be held as part of the UN Economic Commission for Europe. The meeting also saw discussions on transport corridors, urban forestry concept and increasing green space in cities, transition to a balanced and successful renewable and green energy concept in Azerbaijan, as well as initiatives put forward by the country in this regard. They held the expansion of transport opportunities with the Central Asian nations, importance of the Middle Corridor and investments made by Azerbaijan in the development of transport infrastructure within the country and neighboring countries. In this regard, expansion of cooperation with the UN Economic Commission for Europe was discussed. During the conversation, they highlighted the importance of the Convention on Environmental Impact Assessment in a transboundary context. A spoke convention stressed the significance of promoting this convention in the region, ensuring the environmental purity of water bodies and rivers in the region, as well as the need to take into account the neighboring countries' concerns regarding mining works. President Ilham Aliyev received Executive Secretary of the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, Armida Salsiya Ali Shabana. Armida Salsiya Ali Shabana emphasized that the holding of the summit in Azerbaijan on the 25th anniversary of the UN Special Program for the Economies of Central Asia was a significant event and congratulated the Republic of Azerbaijan as the host and chairman on this occasion. The head of our state said that Azerbaijan joined the UN Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific in 1992 and currently maintains strong political partnerships with the majority of its member states. President Ilham Aliyev highlighted the significance of UNESCO as a vital collaboration platform, particularly in the areas of transport, digitization, energy, and other areas of mutual interest. He noted the potential for future cooperation between UNESCO and SPECA regions, specifically emphasizing transport cooperation. The head of our state informed about the Transport Corridor Development Plan connecting the Middle Corridor, Caspian, and Black Seas with the neighboring countries. Emphasis was placed on the significance of digitizing transport, enforcing uniform tariffs and adhering to standardized regulations. During the discussion, the issue of our country's participation in the Trans-Asian Railway Agreement Network, the Intergovernmental Agreement on Asian Land Parts and other intergovernmental agreements under UNESCO was mentioned. At the meeting, views are exchanged on issues related to the development of relations between our country and UNESCO and the holding of relevant meetings of this institution in Azerbaijan. Bajan. The fifth meeting of the Delimitation Commission will be held on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border on November 30th. The meeting will take place on the border of the two countries, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirmed. The ministerial session of the Labour Ministers of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation took place. It was noted that the conference opened new avenues for expansion of cooperation in the fields of labour, employment and social security between the member states. Azerbaijan attached special importance to the relations with OIC. The organization of the fifth conference of the labor ministers has a great significance in terms of expansion of cooperation in the fields of labor, employment and social security and strengthening of joint efforts. These views were voiced in the appeal of President Ilham Aliyev to the participants of the conference. It was noted that there was serious growth in social payments over the last five years in Azerbaijan. Those concept and wide digitalization program in the social field are among the major achievements. This view was stated by the Minister of Labor and Social Protection of the Population, Sahil Babayev, in the fifth conference of the OIC Labor Ministers. He stated that the mastering application of innovations applied in every country and mutual exchange of experience are among the major activity directions. He stressed that the challenges in regards to the unemployment in member countries are still on the agenda. The conference creates opportunity for the expansion of ties and active exchange of experience between the member states. The charter of the OIC Labor Center was signed by a number of member countries. The draft resolution was adopted during the session. The Marine Special Forces of the Azerbaijan Naval Forces perform combat missions in extreme circumstances. Complicated parachuting from a height of 600 and 1,200 meters were successfully performed by the Marine Special Forces. Besides landing tasks from helicopters and various methods were performed. The main objectives of the conducted exercises are to ensure the maintenance of combat readiness of the servicemen at a high level and to improve their practical skills in the accomplishment of combat tasks.
You can get in touch with us by contacting us, Tarek Habar's hotline number 051-511-1956, through which you can report events you come across of, as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.